Hello everyone, my name is David. I'm working on my 2011 Jeep Grand Cherokee and I've got a very common problem with this. Um, a lot of people will uh, appreciate this, I hope. The heater, I've got a dual zone heater, so I've got a temperature control uh, for the left and the right. And I already replaced the right one a year ago. It's um, a little past the gear and you can buy it for around thirty dollars and you get two of them um, both gears are the same interchangeable left and right okay and the gear operates a door and it, being plastic it's not going to last a lifetime this was the first time I've done it, and it's a 2011. This is the new gear on this. This is called an actuator. It's, uh, you can see it's got uh, two electrical contacts. It's just a little motor. So when you hit the temperature control on the dash, it um, winds this uh, counterclockwise or clockwise, okay? And it turns the heat door or flapper to let more or less heat in. Now this is the old one. All the teeth have shattered off it and if you're paying attention uh, when the uh, the teeth shatter they actually uh, it's all open underneath here uh, they fall on the floor mat one at a time. So that'll be your clue. So now the problem that I had on the driver's side, and, and it is a terrible one to, to work at. Um, you have to have really small fingers. It can be done, but you need a lot of patience. There's only um, there's two screws that hold it on. It sits up there like that, and one screw goes there and another one there. Uh, this is just a guide pin for it to anchor it. But be very careful. You can't just uh, uh, put it on and think that that's uh, the end of it. In my case, the this turns another gear very similar to it. And it, that gear is mounted on the shaft to the flapper. That one, the flapper had actually seized in the uh, the full heat position, and uh, it would not move for love or money. And that's the scary part because if you had taken it to the dealership, they would have told you um, you're going to have to replace the whole dash assembly at couple thousand dollars so some of the other YouTube videos said that you could um, access a hole cut a hole in there and try and pry it or put a crowbar up there and try and knock it out of place um, I could not budge the other gear with my fingers so what I did was I took a screwdriver on the other gear inside and I wedged it and I just was very very lucky and I pried it and the gear fell down and it flops and everything's um, gonna work fine right now um, in a second I'm going to show you what the other gear looks like uh, there are a couple other suggestions on YouTube that um, if you were to put a screw in the end of here and what that will do, and the guy makes a lot of sense, is that will limit the amount of travel. You'll still get just a little bit reduction in heat, but it'll make it so that it doesn't put the flapper into the, the fully closed position where it could um, stick. But what I noticed on these replacement gears, and, and it, the, I think they've purposely built this into this gear this has a little raised spot right here 
and also right here that the factory original gear does not so the company that made this gear I think they've planned it so that the there's a stop that this rests up against it's actually going to limit it that's what I'm hoping for but also what I'm going to do and I think everybody that's got one of these Jeeps or Chrysler with this type of system the temperature control don't turn it all the way up to full heat and especially don't do what I did because I only drive this six months of the, out of the year and what I did last year was I left the heat in the full hot position from now on when I'm not driving it I'm going to uh, leave it in the middle position where hopefully uh, that will alleviate this ever happening again. So I'm just going to show you quickly what the other gear looks like and so that you know that it should be the corresponding gear to this that it should be loose and moving around. So if you'll bear with me we're going to go underneath and a little hard to see but there is a black gear and I put a yellow highlight on it okay so you see it should be that easy to move when I took that actuator off that gear was seized solid but luckily with a little bit of uh, prying it uh, it broke loose and we should be good. And I can just put the actuator back on and uh, put it back together. So hopefully that helps you uh, because like I say, this is a two to three thousand dollar job if you take it to the dealership. The part is only about thirty dollars and that does both sides. But do your due diligence and make sure that the, uh, the gear is free. Okay? If you like that, if it helps, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.